All right, let's see. Uh, were these paranormal ghost videos even real? Growing up, I saw a lot of very popular ghost videos on YouTube, some of them with tens of millions of views that I used to think were real. Looking back at these videos now, I can see them in a much different light. So I thought it would be fun to look back at some of the most popular ones that you've likely seen before if you've been on this side of YouTube for even a short amount of time. Girls see ghosts and run. Dude, this one's scary. In 2012, scary. a video titled Girls See Ghost and Run was uploaded to YouTube by user Angel Ruiz. In the video, two girls sit at their dinner table while a woman who we can reasonably assume is their Yo, mother- Yo, chat, for real, this video, I believe it 100% and it's, it's actually scary, bro. <laughs> it's scary. Starts recording them as they eat. Yeah. I just turned off the lights, that's all. A few seconds into the video, one of the girls peers into the dark hallway behind them and becomes visibly disturbed by something she sees. Seconds later, the other girl turns her head, and when she doesn't see anything, she makes fun of her sister for getting scared and even tries to scare her to rub it in. <laughs> what was that? Damn kids, bro. You, you're gonna About get scared a right into now. The, video, the first girl decides that she's had enough and starts crying, running into her mother's arms to hide from whatever she saw in the hallway. At first, the other girl remains calmly at the table, but when she turns her head to look into the hallway again, she gets even more spooked than her sister. Yeah, dude. This one scared the hell out of me. Look at me. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Put it, you gotta listen to me. Turn around. Look at me. What's the matter? Hell no, dude. I just got the goosebumps, dude. Hell no, bro. Dude, I wonder how you're gonna say this was not real. Let's see. Dude, because I feel like this one's 100% real, dog. That, yeah, kids could see a bunch of shit. Dude. <laughs> Even though seconds earlier she was laughing at her sister for apparently being... Dude, did them, it, is this a prank from the mom? No way, this is a horrible prank. Being scared of nothing, the other girl also starts screaming after presumably seeing the same thing as her sister did. Toward the end of the video, the girl's mother can be heard laughing as her kids cry in her arms, which is honestly a little confusing considering the circumstances. Since the video was uploaded in 2012, it's received more than 1.5 million views, mostly popularized by the paranormal YouTube channel Nukes Top 5 in 2018, where the video was featured in the channel's most popular video. As the disturbing footage started gaining more attention, a lot of people started coming up with theories to explain what the girls saw, with many people alleging that the girls had seen a ghost. Around that time, the video also started being used in a bunch of top five scary compilations everywhere online. Which like, honestly, dude, as a mom, why are you laughing if your daughters literally saw something? But I'm assuming she probably, I don't know, there's someone back there with a mask just trying to prank them. Uh, prank them. So, yeah, dude, why was a mom laughing, man? Why was she laughing, dude? It more fuel to the fire. But despite the heap of paranormal theories that got thrown around for years, there are some very clear indications that this video is fake. I'm not saying the girls didn't see anything in the hallway behind the kitchen, because they obviously did, but it's more than obvious that whatever they did see wasn't paranormal at all. For starters, it's already pretty suspicious that the girl's mom started recording right before the incident, which suggests she knew exactly what was about to happen and wanted to make sure she caught it on camera. Facts. Strangely, the mother also appears to be laughing throughout the whole thing, even though her children seem extremely distressed. I honestly think that's pretty messed up regardless of her motive, but the only thing that could explain a reaction like that is if she was in on the whole thing. Also, when the mom asks the first girl what she's afraid of, the girl responds, Angel. Why, mommy? Look at me. What are you scared of? The fish? Oh, the fish died. What? Angel's sleeping already. 
From the video alone, it's hard to tell who exactly Angel is. Dude, this is a prank, bro. This is the worst prank to do to a kid. No mommy. We can guess that it's probably either the girl's older sister or their dad. Because the video was uploaded on the night of Halloween in 2012, it's likely that this was just a Halloween prank where this angel person dressed up in a ghost costume and scared the girls in the dark hallway. This seems even more likely when you look at the description of the video, which reads, Girl makes fun of friend for getting scared and crying until she sees it herself. Funny. Why else would they include the word funny? Yeah. On top of that, if you look at the YouTube tags that the video was uploaded with, they read Halloween ghost pranks. Dude, this mother went in to see the tags, bro. Oh my gosh. This is a dumbass prank, dude. As a parent, you don't do this. Bro, I really thought when I first watched this video, I really thought this was real, dude. I thought it was a real video, but now, dude, oh man. Dude, you broke it down for us. Girls scary. Halloween and pranks especially being some clear indicators of what this video is really about. Overall, everything seems to indicate that this was just a Halloween prank played on a couple of unsuspecting girls. And from their reaction, it looks like the parents got exactly what they wanted. Ghost wow. caught on camera. Whack. On October 2nd, 2017, a video titled Ghost Caught on Camera was uploaded to the channel Deer Park CBS. Since then, it's racked up over 20 million views, which is insane. Some light, the video some in light. question shows supposed security camera footage of the inside of a Christian school in Ireland at about 3 a.m. What the hell? The door opened? All right, I'm out of there. Anyways. All right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Show yourself. A few seconds into the video, doors and lockers randomly start opening and rocking, and wet floor signs start flying everywhere. At first glance, this video seems pretty convincing, and it's understandable why it got over 20 million views. But after looking at the video a couple of times, there are a bunch of red flags that come up that give it away as a clear fake. I mean, how convenient is it that the lockers that move by the supposed ghost are located right in front of an open window that someone could easily stick their hands through and just rock with their hands? As for the rest of the events that the camera recorded, pretty much every single one of them is easy to pull off with a piece of black string. In fact, if you zoom into the wet floor sign when it goes flying, you can see what appears to be a black thread tied to the upper right hand corner. What's even more of a giveaway is the fact that the camera that recorded the whole thing was placed at the same height as the picture frames on the adjacent wall. I have honestly never seen security camera footage from that low of a vantage point, and if you look down the hallway, you'll see one of the school's real security cameras placed a few feet higher at a normal height. <laughs> this suggests this camera was probably mounted on- Dude, we need to get this guy. He seems like an expert. We need to get him for the cheese man. Like, yo, did this couple fake uh, the relationship? And then they're just gonna break down everything, the facts, the receipts, todo, todo, todo. Yo, we need to hire this guy. This guy's good, bro. This guy's good. Because at first glance, it looks real. But now, my dude's breaking it down. And, uh, yeah. Hey, good stuff, brother. On a tripod or a ladder of some sort to stage the video. The comments in the video were also turned off, which says to me the uploader didn't want anyone calling out their hoax so they could milk the public's attention as long as possible. After doing a bit of research on the channel, I also noticed that this wasn't the first time Deer Park Christian Brothers School tried to go viral on YouTube. In 2016, a video was uploaded to the channel where the students at the school performed the mannequin challenge, which was big at that time. No way. Not only is this video a clear indication <laughs> that the school had been trying to get itself on the map for a while, but it was also helpful in seeing the layout of the school. If you pause the mannequin challenge video at about a minute and 45 seconds in, you'll- Remember this challenge, dog? Y'all remember this challenge? Cringe, bro. Who did it? Who did it here? See that this is a pretty similar layout to the floor that was captured in the alleged ghost video. And the window shown is very similar to the one in the video that the locker was sitting in front of. This is pretty much definitive proof that the lockers were placed right in front of an open window, which would make it extremely easy for someone to rock it back and forth from the outside without being seen by the camera. 
Yo, Overall, fat. it's pretty safe to say that despite the massive amount of attention and media coverage this video got, it is very clearly a hoax. Yo, this guy's good, Ghost dude. screaming in haunted hotel. In Ghost. September 2012, a video was uploaded to YouTube titled Ghost Screaming in Haunted Hotel Full Length. In the video description, the uploader claims that the footage was submitted by the hotel security manager who was allegedly standing watch at a Wingate Hotel in Illinois on September 14th, 2003. To give viewers more context, the uploader also mentions that, according to the security manager, several guests had called the- I even made my grandma do it, no mommy, I was a freshman. Dude, you're hella young, bro. Freshman? Damn, you're like- You're like 19 or what? Front desk that night, complaining that there were loud screaming noises coming from room 209. According to the uploader, several people over the years have also complained about strange noises coming from that same room, but there's not much information online to support this claim. As for the video itself, the hotel security camera footage shows John, a supposed employee at Wingate Hotel, responding to the noise complaints as he communicates with the security manager, who gives him updates on the situation via radio and guides him to room 209. Oh shit, that sounded like shoddy. Oh wait, someone subscribed. It's like, dude, that sounded like shoddy. <laughs> this soul put shoddy bait in that room. No, someone subscribed. I forgot. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Hold on. I have seen this video, I think. I have seen this. Even though the security manager explicitly tells John to wait for the cops, he goes into the room to investigate with his flashlight anyway. A few seconds later, some sort of white mist appears to exit the room. That's After fake, John uh... leaves the room, he reports to the security manager that the room had pretty much been torn apart, even though there's nobody inside. After the video was uploaded, thousands of people jumped in the comments section to claim that the footage showed a real ghost encounter. But despite the 13 million views, the video has a few red flags. To start off, at around 13 seconds in the video, the camera inside the elevator shakes way more than a normal elevator security camera should, suggesting that it was probably mounted on a tripod. That's not Throughout safe. the whole video, the color of the footage is not at all common for a regular hotel security camera, meaning that the footage was probably edited after the fact to make it look more creepy. What's more, this kind of high-definition security footage is hard to find nowadays in 2024, and it would have been pretty much impossible to acquire in 2003, especially from a three-star hotel like the Wingate. Three star? Also, wow. there's no way that massive indoor swimming pool with the high ceiling that's shown in the footage at around the 12-second mark actually belongs to the Wingate Hotel that's supposedly being shown in the footage. If you look at pictures of every Wingate Dude, this dude's like the FBI, bro. Damn. <laughs> You can't get nothing past this guy. So, hey, I'm going to contact him. A ver que pedo. Uh, let's see if you can uh, investigate WW. Hotel in Illinois, none of the pools look like that, as they're all quite a bit smaller than the one shown in the footage. Now, as for John, the alleged hotel employee, it honestly seems a bit suspicious that he would enter a room where he knows there's something messed up going down and not even bother to turn on the lights. As for the white mist that exits the room after he enters, it literally could not look more fabricated, and honestly the video would have probably Facts. looked more authentic if they had just left that part out. All this should probably be enough to put this to rest as an obviously fake video, but as if all that weren't enough, if you look at the video description it says, for licensing rights please contact us at www.blackwellghost.com. And I was able to find that the Blackwell Ghost is a film series produced by a filmmaker named Turner Clay. At the end of the film, special thanks are given in the credits to JimmyNut22, which is the name of the YouTube channel that uploaded the video. He's thanked for the use of the hotel video as the story about Room 209 serves as the inspiration for the Blackwell Ghost film series. 
And if you look at Turner Clay's IMDB profile, you'll find that there's an alternative name for him that's listed in his personal details. And as you might have guessed, it's Jimmy Nut 22. Mm. On dozens of vlogs all around the internet, it's pretty much been confirmed that the voice of the hotel security manager in the video is actually the voice of Turner Clay. In the YouTube video, you'll also find that the Blackwell Ghost film series is being promoted below the description, which makes it pretty clear that the entire video is probably just made and promoted as real to bring more attention. Fake it till you make it, y'all. I've been saying this. Fake it till you make it. Uh, Dan, did you ever talk to your psychic again? No, I have not. It's been a minute. I have not. Uh, when was the last time I spoke to her? I think it might have been three, four months ago, maybe? Into the Blackwell Ghost series. On Jimmy Nut 22s YouTube channel, you'll find a bunch of videos and trailers promoting the Blackwell Ghost, also confirming the theory that this was a marketing stunt that a lot of people just ended up taking seriously. With over 13 and a half million views as of today, it's safe to say that the promotion was by all accounts successful. Manchester Poltergeist caught on CCTV. In November 2012, the channel Southport TV uploaded a video titled, News, Manchester Poltergeist Caught on CCTV. In it, security camera footage shows an office building being trashed at around 3am, even though there doesn't seem to be anyone inside the building. What the hell? The string, bro? Someone pulled this shit with the string. What the fuck? Bro, the ghost just went to work, dog. Someone threw that off the roof? Dude, that was in sequence, bro. That In the video description, the uploaders allege that this is the actual unedited footage that the security guards at the Castle Field House on Liverpool Road in Manchester came across the next day. But if this was really caught on CCTV at 3 a.m. in a deserted office building, why are all the lights on? And why does the footage That's have this sick. strange, unnatural green tint that makes it more than obvious that it was edited? There is literally no CCTV footage in the world that looks like that with no editing. Throughout the whole video, one of the things that gets the most attention is the door handles that are being moved up and down. But whoever made this video clearly didn't think about how obvious it is that the door handles are clearly being shaken and moved from the inside, not from some sort of invisible entity on the outside. Also, it's all too common for people who make paranormal hoax videos to use moving chairs as support for their claims. And the main reason for that is that pulling a chair with a black string and making it seem as if it's moving on its own is one of the easiest gags to pull off. If you look closely, all of the chairs move in an almost perfectly straight line, which is a dead giveaway that they're being pulled by some sort of string. The same goes for the slamming doors and the opening and shutting cabinets that make the papers go flying all over the place. Finally, one of the most obvious- How do you think they did that? Green screen? The whole flipping the paper? Signs that this was fabricated was the static that repeatedly appears on the computer monitors. The uploaders don't seem to account for the fact that computers don't even produce static. Overall, despite the millions <laughs> of views it got, got there him. are just too many different indications that this video is fake. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, there you have it. There you have it. Um...